Welcome back everyone to your stimulus update for today and in this video I essentially want to discuss this economic shift that we're seeing in this country and the likelihood of stimulus actually being permanent in this country. What are the odds of it? What do we know so far? We'll be discussing it all in today's video. So let's get started right away and dive right into the video. But before we do, as always, make sure they drop a big thumbs up on this video. Smash a like button. I would really appreciate that. Also, if you have not already, click that big red button as well as the notification bell as well. That will actually notify you when I do post a brand new video. So I would appreciate if you do this few things for me and we can dive right in. So it's no secret that the pandemic changed the American safety net in dramatic but temporary ways. In addition to expanded extended unemployment insurance, Americans have now received three stimulus checks which total a whopping $850 billion in direct aid. But what if this was permanent? Some Democrats, analysts, and economists want this to be the new normal. They say that the recurring aid would ensure equitable economic recovery and sustainable growth even long after the pandemic is over. In fact, as we previously discussed in a prior update on this video, we learned that this week, according to reports, a fourth and a fifth stimulus check could cut the number of Americans in poverty in 2021 from 44 million all the way down to 16 million while helping close imbalances in poverty, income, and wealth between white Americans and Americans of color. Let's take a look at stimulus historically and what we know from the past and why stimulus could actually be implemented permanently in this nation. Now, the idea of universal basic income or UBI has re-emerged in popularity in recent years, but the policy actually dates back all the way to the 16th century. This was when Spanish-born humanist Juan Luis Vives advocated for a system of unconditional welfare, and even Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. declared his support for basic income at a Stanford lecture in 1967. Most recently, Democratic candidate for the presidency, Andrew Yang, who's also currently running for mayor of New York City, he had proposed, even before the pandemic, $1,000 monthly in UBI or universal basic income. And during the pandemic, he also advocated for $2,000 monthly stimulus payments. In fact, he said, quote, if Congress had its shit together, we'd all be getting direct recurring payments throughout this pandemic. According to Andrew Yang's presidential campaign website, a UBI would enable Americans to pay their bills, start businesses, and have, quote, a real stake in the future. Yang's campaign projected that its proposal would grow the economy by about 2.5 trillion by 2025 and increase the labor force by 4.5 million to 4.7 million people. And if you look at legislation that was introduced in light of the pandemic, of course we had the CARES Act passed in March of 2020, and then in May we had a proposal from then-Senator Kamala Harris and Senator Bernie Sanders that would have called for reoccurring $2,000 monthly stimulus checks. This legislation was of course very generous and it would have provided Americans with these payments throughout the duration of the pandemic. Then Senator Kamala Harris had told MSNBC, quote, through the course of this pandemic and crisis, we need to give people $2,000 a month as reoccurring payments, people below a certain income level to help them and sustain them through these months of crisis. So at the end of it, they can get back up on their feet instead of falling deep, deep, deep into the crevices of this crisis. The December 2020 stimulus package, of course, provided Americans with $600 stimulus checks. And lawmakers felt that this was not nearly enough. Even President Trump did not feel that this was sufficient. So a group of over 125 economists at the time had wrote a letter calling for recurring payments tied to economic conditions beyond the single check for each American included in the stimulus plan. They felt it should be actually tied to how the economy is doing at that time. The letter said, quote, Recurring direct payments will help families meet basic needs, boost state and local economies, and speed their recovery, and should be paired with other valuable programs like unemployment benefits, aid to state and local governments, stronger SNAP or SNAP benefits, robust child care funding, and more. And most recently, Americans, and yourself included, received $1,400 stimulus checks as part of the recently signed $1.9 trillion relief bill. But once again, people, and specifically lawmakers, felt that again, this was not enough money. So on March 31st, in the midst of infrastructure negotiations, 
21 U.S. senators wrote in a letter to President Biden to include reoccurring stimulus checks in his infrastructure plan. These Democrats worried that once again, $1,400 would not be anywhere near enough to help support families during this pandemic, especially when unemployment benefits end in September. And on top of the sentiment from the federal level, you're actually seeing true action happening in many states in the United States. For example, California has sent hundreds, thousands of dollars to its citizens in guaranteed income. What we're seeing is this cultural economic shift to guaranteed income, universal basic income to citizens. And this pandemic definitely rekindled this discussion. The recently enacted expanded child tax credit is one prime example of how we could be moving towards a form of guaranteed monthly income or perhaps quarterly income. Who knows what it will look like but that child tax credit was a huge step in that direction. Many feel that that expanded extended child tax credit under the recent stimulus bill should be permanently implemented in this country, and we could very well see it happen with both chambers of Congress being controlled by Democrats as well as the White House. I'm curious what are your thoughts on universal basic income? Are you in favor of it? Are you opposed to it? Do you feel that it should only go to the lower and middle income earning Americans? Or do you think that all American citizens should receive guaranteed money regardless of their income? Because that's what Andrew Yang was previously proposing. It would of course be extremely expensive to pay for, but it could lift millions and millions of Americans permanently out of poverty. Not just a one-time stimulus check that comes and goes, but rather permanent boost. We'll be tracking how UBI might play out in other parts of this country, so be sure to find all updates right here on this channel. This is your one-stop shop in regards to anything stimulus and news and politics happening in this country. If you did enjoy this video, as always, give it a big thumbs up, smash the like button, I would appreciate that. And if you haven't already, click that big red button, the subscribe button, and that notification bell as well. Ring that bell, that will notify you when I do post a brand new video. And if you'd like to get some free stocks all on me, all free, Use my links down below in the description when you do sign up with Robinhood or Webull. You'll actually get some free stocks all on me, all free just for supporting my channel. Some value to thousands of dollars in some cases. So let me know what stocks you do get. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.